Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore Microsoft SQL Server database project inside the Visual Studio 2022. We also have a look at the necessary components needed for us to get started. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Microsoft SQL Server is a powerful relational database management system designed to efficiently store and retrieve data as requested by various applications. With Visual Studio 2022, you can streamline your database development process by creating a new database project and importing an existing database schema from SQL script file. Visual Studio 2022 offers a suite of visual, visual designer tools, including the Transact SQL Editor and Table Designer, which facilitates connected database development. These tools allow you to make modifications to your offline database project and seamlessly publish those changes back to your production database. So enough of all of the talking, so let's get to the real stuff here. So as you can see here, I've got Visual Studio 2022 opened. To get us started, let's have a look at the necessary components that we need. So let's go ahead and open a Visual Studio installer. So once we open the Visual Studio installer, let's click, go ahead and click on the modify. So once you click on this mod, uh, on the modify, this will actually open. So we've got this workload here. Yeah? So let's scroll down to data storage and processing. So this actually helps you to connect, develop and test data solutions with SQL Server. Okay, so you have to make sure that you, this box is checked. You download and install it. So let's go ahead while we get inside. So you got to make sure that you have a SQL Server data tools checked and also .NET Framework 472 development tools as well. So once you have that sorted out, yeah, then you can close your uh, Visual Studio installer. And here, obviously, we can go ahead and create. Before we go ahead, you need to make sure that you have you are connected to a SQL Server or Microsoft SQL Server. So we can type here database. Yeah. So this is a SQL Server database project. So we click on it, then we go next. So here, obviously, we can configure the database project details or the project details yeah so we're just going to make it yt project basically the yt for youtube so, so we click on the create yeah so this might take a while so i'm just going to pause the video Okay, so it's created now. So basically, we have an empty project. Yeah? So what we do next is we come inside the server. So basically, you should, you, you should or you are supposed to be able or you have to be connected to a SQL server. Yeah? So we click on the right click on the data connection and add connection. So here we can select the server if it's available. So Let's see. So this should take some time. So I'm just going to type in this. My server is a local host. Local host. So I'm just going to type it here. Oh, just a sec. So I have actually typed in my, my, my server name. So here, we're going to create a new database. So we're just going to add it. We're just going to add the database name here. So we click OK. So as you can see, we've got this prompt here. The database name does not exist. So we click on yes to create a new one, yeah? So as you can see here now, we have the database created. We have nothing inside the table. So we're just going to right click and then add a new table. So here, we're just going to change the table name, yeah? We're just going to make it 
products. And then um, the ID, we're gonna change it to product ID. Then we're just gonna add one more stuff. So we're just gonna add a name for product name. So this will just be a simple test. So that's all we're gonna do here. So we're just going to, we come up here, we click on the update here. So basically, I'm just gonna open here. So this is the table, we're gonna refresh it here. So we don't have the table created here. So we're going to update the script here. So we click update database. So the database has been updated. So we come back here, then obviously we write, we refresh it. So as you can see, we've got the table created, yeah? The table created with the product name and the name, yeah? So we're just going to close this table, yeah? So what we do next is we come inside the project, we right click the project, then the first bit import, yeah? So we import the database, yeah? So here you can select your database connection. So here, obviously you can select your, you show more properties. So here you select the database that you created. So in our case, it was U2, yeah? So we connect. So we, we start with the import. We wait, we wait a bit. So we click on the finish. So as you can see here now, we've got a new folder added to the project. And inside it, we've got tables, and then we've got products.sql. So that, this is the file that contains that, this table details, this product details. So we're just gonna make a very simple change. We're gonna add price. So this will be money. So we're just gonna add one more thing, description. Description, then this will be just um, a test. Yeah, so that's all we're gonna do here. We're gonna save the, the script here. So now, once we've saved it, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna right click on the project and then um, publish it. So, but before we do that, we come back here, we refresh the table again. So as you can see, we've only got the product ID and the product name. So we publish it. So here we select the target database. So in our case is the U2, as you can see, it's already been displayed here. So we click on the okay. We can text the connection to see, so the connection is succeeded. And then we click on OK, so we, we publish, click on the publish. We, can either, we could have generated a SQL file to be published later on, or we could just publish it directly. So we just wait for the whole thing to complete. So I'm just going to... Refresh the table here. So as you can see here now, we've got the price and description added to it here. So we can double click on the, on the table. And as you can see here, we've got the <clears throat> other two attributes added to it, yeah? So as you can see, it's very simple to start with a database project and, and get going. So you can make either changes. You can make the changes from this bit or directly from the project, yeah? So I'm gonna leave the video here and I hope you actually got, this actually got you started, yeah. We'll continue further to details, yeah. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are, peace.